now let us understand what all these modules are about we have transformations and actions which are considered to be core on top of it we have something called spark sql and data frames and then on top of it we have structured streaming machine learning pipelines graphics pipelines etc let me explain you using a graphical representation so that you are aware of let me use powerpoint here so based upon what i have explained so there are multiple modules right one is spark core which are nothing but transformations and actions and then we have spark sql and data frames okay and then we have machine learning libraries and then spark streaming and etc et so with respect to spark up to spark 1.6 spark core is at the is the foundation for the entire spark the transformations actions and rdds are the foundation for spark and then on top of it we have modules like this so we have spark sql and data frames and then we have machine learning okay and then you have spark streaming all these works on top of these things which means the data structures which are being used are nothing but rdds whether you use machine learning or spark streaming or spark sql and data frames etc and also if you look at the apis uh, machine learning also have a api called map uh, but the way it executes is a bit different it also have an api called reduce similarly when it comes to spark streaming it have uh, similar apis such as map reduce reduce by key etc whatever you see as part of transformations and actions similar apis available on machine learning and spark streaming also when it comes to spark sql and data frames internally it uses spark core transformations and actions now with respect to spark to what they have done is let me change the colors for this let me make it red or orange and then this let me make it uh, some other color i am very poor at colors okay let's define colors like this and also we have other modules like graphics etc so with respect to spark 2 okay what they have done is i am copying the same thing here this is with respect to spark 1 whatever we have seen now i am explaining what is being done in spark 2 okay in spark 2 what they have done is they moved out the machine learning and spark streaming to a bit higher level and they made spark sql and data frames as a core api okay so if you want to perform machine learning now they have exposed apis similar to data frames and spark sql spark 2 version of machine learning libraries even spark streaming is renamed as spark structured streaming okay and spark structured streaming also uses data frame apis more than typical core transformation and action apis similarly we also have graphics it is there in earlier version also at the time it, it used to use uh, typical spark apis such as transformations and actions now even graphics uses let me change the color here graphics uses the spark sql and data frames so spark sql and data frames have become core modules with respect to spark 2 that being said the reason why i have left this over is there are legacy spark streaming machine learning and graphics still supported which works on top of spark core just for reverse compatibility uh, in future all these things users the typical spark core transformations and actions will be deprecated the road map for spark is to use spark sql and data frames as core apis for machine learning streaming graphics etc so still we have spark streaming module as part of spark 2 which uses the core transformations and actions uh, just for reverse compatibility okay but this is the path forward slowly uh, the support for the a legacy spark streaming legacy machine learning etc will be removed okay and hence learning spark sql and data frames is very very important that being said now let us talk about briefly on spark data structure i, I have already spoken to you when it comes to core apis we use uh, rdds when it comes to data frames or spark sql and data frame operations we use data frames 